what is up guys we are back some more hogwarts legacy and i know that i mentioned you know before we were just going to do live streaming straight after but with how my schedule's panning out to be right now i decided i'm just going to go through and just do some pre-recordings uh so i hope you guys enjoy Ooh, we can follow this key here i was about to have us go right into like the potions class so we can learn our new spell uh so i guess we'll do that right after unlocking uh this cabinet here and this the thing that i kind of don't like about this uh this thing is that like you have to like slap the key <laughs> when it's going across the keyhole in order to get it in and so it's not going to be like perfect but as long as you get it close enough to the middle when you're slapping it it'll end up going into that keyhole but with that said let's get into this potions class because we're gonna learn a new spell I thought it was a spell. Maybe it's a new potion we learned? Being that we had to come to the potions class? Oh no, we, we attended the class. We, we did our thing. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to Pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. This is to like you've got it now repel if you'd like to practice and i think you should perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls i suggest having a go at the enchanted books here damn <laughs> that looks like that's gonna hurt can be an excellent teacher be quiet <laughs> so now i need to figure out how i'm gonna i'm gonna like fit all these spells uh one thing though to note is that i have leveled up more from the live stream i did some more side quests uh unlocked like some aesthetic stuff for like the wands so we have an extra skill so i could go to core and give us another uh where is it yeah, I can get us another spell set. Looks like there's four of those that you can unlock. Um, so I, I think that's <laughs> that's what I'll do. I unlocked level 16 spells, but I'm kind of not too worried about it right now. So we'll just add that spell set there. So that way we can edit and add in some other stuff. Uh, so right now we had like R2 set up with that. Nothing on this bottom one. Which... I'll probably just put the same setup as before and these will definitely change up as we were able to like get more spells it's just for now it'd be nice to actually switch between these like I could just go up or down that's not, not what I wanted there so I could just go back and forth between either one so we'll leave it at default at down and then now we can head over to do our flying class actually so let's uh first pick that quest up then we're gonna locate it on the map so with the fast travel i went through and also tried to uh get as many fast travel locations as possible so that way we could just navigate to certain areas easier From that Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. 
Don't know where they were at when they said that, but up. Mr. Clopton, oh. your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, <laughs> your turn. Thank you. Up. up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Got that ancient magic, so this is easy. Up. So there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Well, let's see if it's smooth. Just riding on the and on the brooms. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. This will take some getting are used to. Property. I want them returned in one. This piece. is brilliant. Not too difficult. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! <laughs> this is rather fun! Ah, oh, the old boathouse! Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I mean, what, does it really matter? This is a nice experience regardless. I'm like a 20th year at this point, right? It makes sense though why they didn't add Quidditch. I think it would have been too hard to Brilliant. really be playing a Quidditch game on a broom like this with how, with how these controls are going. It's like too bad we can't play a Quidditch. You would have been a great seeker. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine dusty. you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? You're kind of weird, bro. Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Are you calling us Follow a bird? Me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely, is it? Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic, 
bit for my taste. How is ever applied so quickly? Here's Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. We we'll probably call it the whistle because we was on a detour and shit. Professor, we were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Damn. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. Hmm. Raven Club will be just lost like As for you. 40 points. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Hey, I tried. Hit the game forced Shut me. Up. That was some rather good fly. Appreciate you, B. Or P, the professor. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Appreciate you. I need another quest. Did someone send me like an owl note or something? I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Oh, uh, hell yeah. I'm broke, bro. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. All right. That was what, like two, two man quests or three? Okay, we got, oh, room of requirement. We can learn a level eight spell. This one's for appearance. So we're gonna go to the room of requirement. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes.
Oh, what's up with the... Yeah, I was like, what's up with this bl blank-ass wall? <laughs> stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Uh, we we awesome. shall. This room entirely by accident. I mean, are you saying I was ever, desperate? I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my class on your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, that's interesting. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I mean, I already had Moonstone before, but Where okay. In Merlin's name is that elf. Revelio. Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. I mean, okay. Yes, Professor. Hey, Liz. <sighs> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. So we can't go up there. Oh, it's just tea to drink. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. And why did we just start drinking tea? Like, how long has it been here? No, not that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Managed to get around in here. What was that? That's one of the Rebellion. keys. Was that a golden stitch? Oh, wait. It was. 
Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. Damn you. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay, this is dope. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Okay. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You've unlocked the desk of description used to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. Stay less, because I got like two or three pieces that I need to identify her. Oh, yep, yeah, the Velvet House Club scarf. Oh, so it does it all together. That's kind of neat. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Yeah, let me switch out of this red, though, because, uh, you know, I'm Ravenclaw. We, we Blue Gang out here. Ooh, that's nice. Increased damage with Confringo. And got the face wear. Alright, I guess not, I guess not. Dressed up a little fresh to death. 
imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring. Oh, is this objects. how we get like our I'll potion station and whatnot? Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. Well, I need money, girl. They can girl. also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Kind of interesting. Uh, I guess we'll place it there. any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn to find the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall I think begin I have the enough, lesson. Right? Got like almost a hundred. 
I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Not a good spot to place it in front of there, but... everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. We learn everything now. Oh, damn. Okay, I like that. Alter the style of an item. Okay. something a little more advanced you can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture what? try these new designs on the floor or balcony try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering Fit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you? 
Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Oh, damn. I like that. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Hey, if you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Sweet, though. We got a, a lot of customization we can do in here, which... I'll probably end up doing that off screen, most likely. But guys, uh, with that said, I think I'm going to end the video off here. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps with the video a lot. And also subscribe to the channel if you have yet to subscribe and you're new here. Hit that notification bell as well, so that way you're notified about when I upload videos or when I go live. But with that said, guys, stay sharp. Later.